Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is window Microsoft as a tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to create or deploy virtual machine from a Microsoft Azure gallery on Microsoft Azure. So let's do it and in last few videos I have created my storage account and cloud services and I am going to deploy a um, virtual machine on on uh, on my ADM cloud service account and ADM cloud storage account. So click on uh, virtual machine and you can see virtual machines no virtual machine have been created you can start by creating virtual machine so click on create a virtual machine so for now we are going to deploy a virtual machine from gallery click on uh, from gallery and it will open a new pop-up so you need to select the operating system which you want to install so there was uh, like uh, Microsoft Windows Server, Microsoft SharePoint, so everything there. So I am going to deploy Microsoft uh, Server here. So Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center and click next. And the revision number, like this, this is the all the image which is created by Microsoft for creating the virtual machine. So I am going to use the latest one which is here. And my name, virtual machine name is ADM and put it vm01 and the tire which is basically a plan what you want to use so i'm going to use a, like 2 core and 7 gb memory and my uh, username here and i'm going to put my password so click next so here you can see uh, by default you'll not be able to select the virtual uh, machine if deploy will identify. So create a new uh, uh, cloud or use existing. So I'm going to use existing my cloud service which we have created earlier. So my cloud name here and this uh, location is already selected because I have deployed this cloud on my central US location so you can see the storage account as well as so i'm going to deploy this uh, uh machine on my storage account and which is created also in um, in the same reason central us so good to know and here you can see the uh, remote desktop is enabled and power cell is enabled and if you want to add any another value like ftp and i uh, imap https you can anything so you can add, uh, so just for test I'm going to like uh, you can put the FTP here and if you want to make it like available from SSH you can also do it SSH so I just you added these port for testing and click on next and the final option VM agent so like if you see here the uh, Click here. The uh, VM agent is used to install and manage the extension, which helps to you to interact the virtual machine. So we need to add this. And if you want uh, to add anything other like security extension, like you can add uh, the extension. You will have to secure compatibility virtual machine, adding the antivirus support. So you can go with this also. So also, if you want, you can trade micro deep security agent. So I'm going to install the Microsoft anti malware and click OK. So it will deploy the virtual machine by the all the option which we have selected. So setting up the virtual machine, you can see here. So it's by uh, basically creating the virtual machine. So then it will create the virtual machine and put the hard drive in my storage account and the, uh, also associate this uh, virtual machine in my cloud services which we have just created in the last video so just wait for a few seconds here you can see and successfully created virtual machine and now it's provisioning the virtual machine so you can see the status is start so it's running get to know just wait for four more, few more minutes so you can see virtual machine is deployed successfully so if you want to connect click on the um, RDP file to download it and just go and connect with the server 
put the credential here which you have entered when creating the virtual machine so it's taking the time and here you can see we are connected to virtual machine Also, if you click on virtual machine, you can see the dashboard where you have the host name, public IP address, private IP address, and the extension which is like uh, we we have enabled the uh, Microsoft Security Anti Malware also. So we have Biz Info and the Security Anti Malware on machine installed we have one operating system desk and if you can see you can see the read write like for cpu desk and everything network and endpoints you can see we have created the enable the endpoint for ssh ftp power cell and remote desktop is default and configuration you can conf check the like a uh, machine tab so which we have created so Good to know this is the monitoring actually the network is speed read write everything there so looks everything good and here you can see our local machine and the IP this is a sign RAM disk total disk size going to rename it like OS test so uh, this is all about deploying the virtual machine or creating the virtual machine uh, from gallery and thanks once again please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query or question related to this you can post me on my given mail ID thank you once again bye bye